Local news now, and one of the 12 year old girls accused of stabbing a classmate to impress the fictional character Slender Man will have another mental competency hearing. Morgan Geyser was in court today. Michelle Fiore is live in Waukesha with a story. Michelle. Well, Mike and Carol, the defense finds this issue extremely important. That's why they're taking so much time trying to get it right. A decision on mental competency would not only determine how to proceed with the trial for Morgan Geyser, but also where she'll live in the meantime. Morgan Geyser's attorney says the 12 year old who allegedly stabbed her friend 19 times to please the online character Slender Man is still living in a fantasy world and still believes in fictional characters. I mean, I think that Morgan certainly understands uh, she's in a courtroom um, and that there's a judge. Those things seem, seem clear uh, to her. Um, but I think there's a whole other dimension to this that, that is compromising our ability to work with her. Anthony Cotton says, as far as he can tell, nothing about Geyser's mental competency has changed since the stabbing in May. In court today, Cotton expressed his concern over an evaluation that claims Geyser is mentally fit for trial. We object to the conclusions. We're challenging Dr. Kasmir's uh, findings, Your Honor. We'd ask that it be set for a hearing. In the meantime, the Slenderman follower is being allowed to stay at the Winnebago Mental Health Center, which is what her attorney thinks is best. Her treatment right now at Winnebago is markedly better than her treatment uh, at the Washington County Jail, and that's because right now she has one-on-one -on -one care. She has social workers, she has doctors, she has therapists. There's professionals who can look at her and monitor her. At the next hearing, we will hear from doctors on both sides. If Geyser is found mentally competent to stand trial, she'll likely be moved then to the Washington County Jail. Her next hearing is set for December 18th, along with co-defendant Anissa Weirs. Reporting live at the Waukesha County Courthouse, Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4. Okay, thank you very much, Michelle.